Hey, what's up, guys? Sean and John here, living the corporate pilot life, cruising along at flight level 400 or uh, 40,000 feet up. We're uh, going to do a technical video for you guys. We had a lot of good response from the first two, so uh, we're going to introduce you guys to the PFD, or primary flight display, and the MFD, or multifunction display. Uh, these are the two screens sitting right in front of us that we look at every day. This screen over here, this is our uh, PFD, or primary flight display. This screen over here is our uh, MFD, or multifunction display. These are what we look at on a regular basis. Like I said, we're flight level 400, 40,000 feet up, showing 40,000 and 40 feet, just a little bit of uh, discrepancy on the, uh, on the altimeter system, but we're well within limitations. Doing Mach decimal 80 right now. We're in a little turbulence, so we've got the speed pulled back. Otherwise, we'd be going a little bit faster. Across the top, we call these the headlines. This is uh, basically everything controlled by the autopilot and uh, auto throttles. Like I said, Mach decimal 80. The FMS is navigating the airplane. We're on a uh, Mach hold of Mach decimal 80. We're on an altitude hold at flight level 400, and this is what we have selected here. 2992, that's the altimeter setting. Anytime we're above 18,000 feet, we're always going to have 2992 in there. Going down over here, this is our uh, VSI, or vertical speed indicator. A lot of people call it different things, VVI, things like that. But basically, if you're going up or down, that tells you how fast you're going up or down. Over here on the bottom left, this is our angle of attack indicator. We don't use this for too much, but this gives us an idea if we're getting close to the point of stalling the wing. So we always want to keep that down here in the white. Down here on the bottom, this is our heading indicator. It tells us which direction we're going. The blue needle is our track. We want to keep that centered up for our ground track. Over here on the MFD, pretty simple. Bigger display of our heading. We can uh, make this look like uh, several different options, but this is the most common one. It's our heading indicator again. These little blue dots are traffic. It tells us how, uh, how high or, or low they are relative to us. Down here in the bottom left, this is our weather radar. We have it on standby right now because it's a clear blue day. No need to have the radar going. And our lightning indicator is off. These arrows over here, these are the wind speed. We actually have 50 knots of headwind and 36 knots of crosswind at the moment. Down here on the bottom right, the, uh, the SAT is the outside air temperature of minus 60 degrees. True air speed of 455 right now and ground speed of 407. That's due to that high, uh, high headwind that we've got. Now this G4 actually has a special mod to it that a lot of G4s don't have. It's called DU885. It lets us look at uh, different things over here on the MFD. This screen right here is something custom to the DU885 family. Basically a more uh, modernized display of radar and satellite images and things like that. Tells us where our, our current airplane is and our ground track. I can move the uh, the cursor to line that up for uh, for our airplane a little better. And as you can see, we've got a we got a due westerly track over here to Las Vegas. We had a little bit of weather over here earlier. Passed over that with no problem. The other big thing that we can look at with the with the DU885 is the charts. Most G4s aren't allowed to or, or don't have the uh, ability to look at charts on the screens like this. But this is actually the uh, airport chart for Las Vegas, which is where we're going to be landing here in a little while. Thank you very much, sir. Greg Sanders. And one nice thing about this uh, this chart system is it'll actually use what's called georeferencing or own ship navigation, where when we're on the ground here in Las Vegas, it'll put a little picture of an airplane on the uh, on the ground and it'll show you where you're taxiing. So if we land and we taxi off the runway here, as we're taxiing, it shows us where we are. So it's excellent for uh, situational awareness to not get lost on the uh, on the ground. Obviously, we need to uh, use the outside references as well. You can't rely 100% on this, but it's excellent situational awareness aid. Back here in the uh, in the map mode, it'll actually allow us to, to show a lot of different things on here. We can add airports or VORs or NDBs or anything like that. If we were to select airports, come over here, zoom in a little bit, it'll show us all of these different airports. We can use the uh, cursor to, to select those airports and, uh, and see where they are, what airport is what. It'll also allow us to show a variety of different weather situations. If we were to get rid of the uh, NEXRAD and the satellite, 
we can come down here and show the winds. Like I said, we're at flight level 400, so we can run this up to 390 as close as we can get. And these are actually the winds that we're dealing with outside the airplane right now. Again, this is an amazing situational awareness and planning tool for flying long legs. You can maximize your fuel by knowing where the winds are going to be stronger and weaker. All right, guys, so there's a quick intro to the PFD and MFD of the G4SP. Hopefully you learned a little something, but keep in mind it's uh, not intended to be anything close to actual flight instruction on the topic. Uh, just a quick glimpse of what we look at and what we use on a regular basis. Hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you did, smash that uh, like button, or better yet, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, we like seeing the comments, and we like seeing the suggestions on, uh, on future videos, something you would like to see uh, on the technical video. We're going to try and keep doing them every week, so uh, hopefully you guys uh, keep up the enthusiasm. In the meantime, we're going to keep living the corporate pilot life. We'll see you guys on the next one.